Hello everyone and welcome to Just Brand. In today's video, we are going to be making bubble tea! Yay! Yay! Also, we have Azusa with us today that's going to help and translate as well. Yay! This is our first time making bubble tea. We bought tapioca pearls a little while ago and we wanted to use them. So, why not now? It's the best time to make bubble tea. Alright, let's do it. Bubble tea. Let's go. So this is our first time making bubble tea. So the first thing we're gonna do is get the tapioca pearls ready. It says put the water into a pot and heat until boiling. Add the pearls and continue boiling for 15-20 minutes. Leave it overnight. <laughs> Overnight. So it looks like this is going to be a two day event. That just means two days of fun, right? Alright, let's do it. <laughs> Alright, so the instructions say just to leave it overnight just like this. So we're gonna do that and we'll get back to you guys tomorrow. Alright guys, so it's the day after we let the tapioca pearls sit overnight. The water like turned into like this goo and this weird stuff and the balls got a lot bigger. It looks really gross. <laughs> So what we're going to do is we're going to strain the tapioca pearls and then we're actually going to boil it again. <laughs> so now we're going to add, I'm sorry, it's six cups of water, not three cups of water. Uh, then the water is going to boil, we're going to add that brown sugar. And then boil these tapioca pearls yet again for another about 10 15 minutes. As you can see, most of the balls, almost all of them, became translucent and lost all their color. Um, we don't know if that's supposed to happen or not, because we've never made it before, but uh, I, I guess I guess it's good. It, more, it looks like the clear tapioca balls that you get, not the black ones. Mm. So it, it's starting to look like we're doing it right. Okay, now that the tapioca pearls are complete, uh, we're going to start putting everything together. We have a cup of brewed green tea, milk, a cup of ice cubes, two little packets of matcha, and it's supposed to be in a cocktail shaker, but uh, we don't have that, so we're using my protein powder shaker to make protein shakes. But this will be the first time we make bubble tea in one of these. Alright, let's start combining.
version of the green tea bubble tea. Let's see how it tastes. Kampai. It's not bad. <laughs> you know what it needs? Sugar? Sugar. <laughs> it tastes like a like a green, like a matcha latte, like it just tastes like a matcha latte with just milk. You know, it's like something that like your grandma would order. <laughs> I wish we had a straw, we don't have a straw. Hmm. They're good too. It's the exact same thing though, it just needs more sugar. Oh no. It's like four or five chunks just like that. Brown sugar beans together. Oh, it's so much better. It's very sugary though. I think it's definitely too much sugar. So yeah, that was our version of a green tea bubble tea and tapioca pearls. We've never done this before. We never made the tapioca pearls. The latte tea is really good. Mm. That was simple to make. And actually the protein shaker shook pretty well, as you saw before. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any ideas for us to do stuff in new videos, please comment down below. And while you're down there, give us a like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon. We hope everyone is safe and healthy during these difficult times. And we hope that these videos make you happy and smile and shine a light in these dark times. So, thank you so much, everyone, for watching. Chanduru Toroku, onegaishimasu, and remember, we are.